what I do agree with is I don't think one single man would do this for a woman. I don't. Mm -mm. Hi my loves, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the reviews of the show Prison Wives Club. So I did a whole review of the show myself and I'll post it in the cards right up there. But during that video it started to get long. I said that I would come back and I would go over some of the reviews that other people have been leaving and what other people are saying about the reviews and give you my opinion on them as a prison wife. So I have two sources. One is Amazon where people are leaving reviews and the other one is Reddit. I looked on IMDB, there weren't really reviews on there. I have no idea where I even got that in the first video. Really quick, the air conditioning is broken in my house. We have a technician coming to fix it tomorrow. I'm rolling back and forth. I'm sitting on a foam roller. You see this? Because I'm too short. YouTube problems. Just, I'm a mess today and I'm so sweaty, but you're going to have to deal with me until hopefully they can fix this tomorrow. I was joking with Adam on the phone tonight. I was like, if they call that you can come home tomorrow, you need to tell the judge not until noon. You cannot let me know until noon because I need to be in the house until noon. I can't just like run out of the house to get you. And plus, I'm going to need a couple hours to pack some bags. So you're going to have to figure it out. I'm going to have to give you my credit card. You're going to have to go to a hotel room. I'm going to miss you walking out of prison. And he's like, you know, that's going to happen anyway. That's not fair. Oh. <laughs> These women are crazy. Case in point. Just kidding. Okay, let's go back to this. You guys already know me. So this first review is by somebody named Cookie Dookie 143. Maybe it's supposed to be Cookie Dookie, but it's spelled Cookie Dookie 143. I used to watch it back in the day and was bummed that they cut the season short. They just stopped airing mid-season and there was no final episode or any real explanation by Lifetime. They never tied up any loose ends on the show. They kind of just left it hanging. And I told you guys that in my first review of it. I actually got an email from somebody who was involved with Prison Wives and everything back during this time. She was asked to recruit for the show and she told me that what happened was there was a lot of backlash out here by people who were involved with people who were incarcerated and they thought that the show was a disgrace. They thought that the show made prison wives look awful. They started a huge group. It started to take off. There was a lot of traction. Like you said, there were probably petitions. Lifetime is more a supportive network of women. They weren't really prepared for the drama that followed this show. So they decided to pull the plug instead of continuing with it and dealing with any backlash. And that's why the show got pulled. So you're kind of right, but there's a little more detail for you. Apparently there was backlash about the women profiting off of their spouse's crimes. Many people felt that these women shouldn't benefit financially based on the terrible things that their partners did. I'm not sure if there were petitions or what, but it was pulled off the air and never spoken of again. Yeah, that's why. LAL Fangirl says, I both love you and dislike you for introducing me to this show because I'm totally hooked after binging the first four episodes. And now I find out that it was canceled. I've got the worst blue balls, worse than the prison wives and their husbands. Oh my God, you're hysterical. Celtic Spoonie responded with a crying laughing emoji. I'm so sorry, but just know you're not alone. I want more too. Oh my God, this thread is hysterical. I want to hug these people. I want them to be my friends. I love people with a sense of humor. Pocket Size Peanut says, thanks for the show recommendation. Oh, you're welcome. I'm just frustrated because it really started to get good on episode three and there's only four episodes. Guys, I found five. Go watch the fifth. Somebody says, all right, can't find more than four episodes. I need more with drooling emojis. It's killing me. I need more Gemini. She looks like a long lost VeggieTales character. <laughs> Somebody said, I really think she's clueless how she comes across her hypocrisy, the whole, I don't trust people who have men in prison when her own man is there. I agree with you on that Celtic Spoonie. That was kind of a tease. There weren't that many comments on there. Let's see what they say on Amazon. Lisa Simmons on Amazon gives this one star. Not the whole season. Would have been great, except it's not the whole season, even though it says it is. So I guess people paid for this on Amazon. That's the problem. And when they paid for it, they got four episodes or five episodes, whatever it is. I swear I saw five, you guys. I swear I did. But there are 3.3 .3 out of five stars. And this person, Lisa Simmons, gave one star because it's not the whole season. It is the whole season. It's just that they didn't finish the season. So it's all the episodes that aired in season one. But I hear what you're saying. It was just like the blue balls that our husbands and we have. I love, I, I'm never not saying that again. Sunday gives five stars. This show gives you a peek at what it's like for the wives on the outside. I thought it was done well and enjoyed it. I was bummed that I couldn't find the second half of the first season, however. 
BLR has a completely different opinion. He give or she gives one star. Trash. Show is trash. Waste of money. The show is a failed attempt to show the life of ladies who find themselves dealing with loved ones in the justice system. It's fabricated and everything is played up to be over dramatic. None of the ladies in this show are shown in a good light. I do kind of hear what this person is saying because it was a little contrived. If you ask me, it did seem a little scripted, but I don't know. I'm glad that he's not calling this lifestyle trash and he's just saying that this show is trash because it was a little fabricated. Not that everybody who's a prison wife is trash. So high five to you, Mr. BLR. Sarah G gives it five stars. I'm fascinated by these women. We'll stay tuned to see how it goes. See, I'm not upset by that. There are times where I do get offended where people treat our loved ones like they're circus freaks or lab rats. I can't get down with that because we're not freak shows. It's our life. This is our lifestyle. So I don't mind that she said it like this, that I'm fascinated by these women. I'll stay tuned to see how it goes. And I think it's because of how she said it. It was short, it was sweet, it wasn't like, I'm fascinated by these crazy women. I'm fascinated by how out of control they are. It's like watching a train wreck, nothing like that. So I appreciate Sarah G. Jen Dubs gives one star. Next time I'll read the fine print. Four episodes, kind of pissed that I paid $1.99 for an episode, then $3.99 for the season when there were only four episodes. Next time I'll read the fine print. I get it. And guys, you can watch it for free on YouTube. They just released all the episodes, so don't pay. Wendy Schulmerich says, Schulmerich, I don't know how to say that. Five stars, I liked it. Sad they canceled after only four shows. Ooh, Amazon people are really nice. Well, Joanne Melanson said, one star, ordered in error. Oh, well, I wonder if you watched it. Cindy Flatten gave one star and she said, absolutely did not like this distasteful, disgusting show. I was just curious as to what the big deal was and watched a few minutes. That's all it took. Sorry, I wasted my time. Okay. By the way, it has 13% five star ratings, 59% four star ratings, no three star, no two star, and 28% one star. Mona Stewart gave it four stars and she said, like it. Veronica gave it five stars. I love this show. Bring it back. Okay, so there was a range, but I think that the majority of the people on Amazon just were pissed off that they paid for a full season of shows and they got four episodes. I don't blame them, especially in quarantine. Let's look on Google. Prison Wives Club reviews. Ooh, Rotten Tomatoes. Let's see what they say. No reviews? See all audience reviews. Okay. No reviews. Womp womp. Let's just look at Facebook because I can't imagine that this show didn't get some horrible reviews. Let's look at the YouTube videos. Duh, what is wrong with me, YouTuber? Great YouTuber. 1,000 comments, where have I been? Oh my God, yes. Not one single man would do this for a woman and that's not a statement in support of these women. It's a virtue to be under their manipulative control. Okay, I don't agree with that as far as the manipulative control, but what I do agree with is I don't think one single man would do this for a woman. I don't. Mm -mm. I've been missing life after lockup, so this will do for now. Somebody says, he's a lifer, so I never have to worry about him killing me, with it, which is a quote from the episode. And she says, what the actual F? I agree with you. Uh, it's not a good statement, does not make us look good. Only women put their lives on hold for a man. I agree with you. I do not think, even Adam, I don't think that any man with his testosterone ruling his body would do this. Homegirl said that she was sexually frustrated. Girl with a man who's serving 60 years, you're going to continue being sexually frustrated. Sometimes the comments on YouTube, if they're not me on my channel, they just make me laugh because mm -hmm, you're right. Men would never return the same loyalty, bam. Being married to a man who received 60 years is such a waste, no future. That girl needs to listen to her friend. There's plenty of free men who aren't incarcerated. Okay, I don't agree with that. I understand what you're saying, but as somebody who's dedicated my life to somebody with more than double, triple, quadruple that time, there is no person that's an exact replica of the person that you love. And I can't make sense of it for you. I can't, there is no way that I can make sense of it for somebody like this because it does seem crazy. It does. I'm the first to say that, but unless you're in my shoes, you're not going to know why I do what I do. And sometimes I question my own sanity, but I'm here and it's what my heart tells me to do. This one says, I'm sorry, but the desperation in this show is making me ill. Again, you're not going to understand unless you live it. Laquisha, baby girl, if this man doesn't have parole on his sentence, please move on. You're still in your prime. I understand what she's doing. 
a lot of these men are lonely and need money on their books. That's it. I'm not saying these four men, but in general, it's, I've said it all the time. I am a prison wife and I will tell you all day long that a lot of prisoners fish for a woman to take care of him. They need money on their books and that's true. If our husbands had better aim, we'd be in the same boat. That is a word. He's talking about when Jasmine was, is that her name, Jasmine? Was being judgmental about the guys that had life and their husbands only had the salt. And Kate says back to her, if our husbands had better aim, they'd, we'd be in the same boat. They'd have homicide too. I agree. There is pretty much a reality show for everything, said condescendingly. Why would you expose your young daughter to a prison visiting room for someone other than her father? Her ex-husband has a reason to be upset. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna say a word about that. I've never brought a child to visit. I'm not gonna say a word because I wanna know what you guys think about that in the comments. I would love for you guys to respond to that comment in the comments below. How is this girl acting stuck up with a man in jail? The way she speaks and spells her name is upsetting me and my home girls. <laughs> Her voice is a little annoying. You know who I'm talking about. I don't even have to say her name. It is true. Jasmine's voice sounds like Minnie Mouse, kind of. Which is fine. I have friends who I call Minnie Mouse because they have the cutest voices in the world. But it's like very whiny and everything is just so hard. I am the best. I am beautiful. It is annoying. So is mine. Jersey Girl accent is so annoying. Imagine being told what to do from a man behind the wall. He's probably talking about Anna who admits that he controls her and she likes it. And mm, I agree with you, Tatiana. You do not let your incarcerated loved one control you. You do not let any man or woman or person ever control you. You're your own person. And if you find some sort of joy or it's okay that they control you and you kind of like that, my friend, that's called codependency and you need some help. Kate seems to be the only one who's in a real relationship before her man went to jail, but these other girls, these men definitely knew that they needed somebody to put money on their books. Look at how they all reached out to them. It's questionable. So some of them were on right to prisoner and this is an age old thing with prison wives and it breaks my heart because like I said in the first video, why are we fighting against each other when we feel like we're fighting against the world? We need to come together and we need to be one voice. But there's this age old feud between people who met their loved ones before they were incarcerated and people who met their loved ones while they were incarcerated. And I know Adam before, but our relationship did develop on the inside. So maybe I'm like one foot of each, I don't know. My thought is, why are we judging people? If somebody reached out to somebody who's incarcerated and they fell in love, wish them well. It's not for you to say. And I'm saying that with all the love in my heart that I try to prepare people. I tell them about the red flags. I caution them on, all of the things that inmates can be doing to go fishing. And I'm not gonna lie to you, probably 90% of the time, they don't have good intentions. But there is the 10% where it works out. So say your piece and then let people live their lives. It's not your life. She messes up and she winds up with somebody who uses her for her money or controls her and you said what you had to say. What more can you do? She's a grown adult. She's making her own decisions unless she's not. This person says, the woman that's married to a lifer just wants to be able to say that they're married. But I don't think that that's true because all of these women are in a state that have family visits, conjugal visits. So yeah, maybe they want the clout saying that they're married, but they want to have sex, man. <laughs> if, I, if Adam was in a state with conjugal visits, I sure as sh would be illegally married to him. So homeboy was smashing and dashing when he's free, but now that he's locked up, he finds you and sees the light and he's ready to marry you. I mean, I hear you and we don't know what it's like and we don't know if he had a come to Jesus moment. We don't know anything. So while I hear what you're saying and there should be some caution used there, she's a grown woman and I'm sure she thought about everything that you're saying times 10. Let her live her life, she's happy. Gemini is living in a dream world. Her man cooks and cleans for two days a month. Okay, so she was talking about how when they go on conjugal visits that her man does everything, he cooks and he cleans. I highly doubt that. She grasps to appear perfect. She has the perfect relationship. She has the perfect modeling job. He's the perfect spouse. He cooks and he cleans for her. That she probably fabricates a lot. I doubt he's cooking and he's cleaning for her. I mean, the way that he talks to her, eh, I don't know that he's that guy. I think there's a lot more going on than she says. I took that when I saw that as her just trying to one up Kate, cause that's who she was talking to about that. And the best part is it didn't face Kate. She's like, oh, not mine. Okay. Not gonna lie. I thought 
In the preview that Gemini's husband was in prison for some white collar crime based on her mannerisms. You know, it's funny, a lot of people call Adam Wall Street and they always assume that he was in for white collar too based off of what he looks like, his appearance, the way he speaks, how intelligent he is, but can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Pretty. No judging immediately starts judging. We all do. I don't know if these ladies have a heart of gold or a heart of desperation. When my ex went to jail, I left him. I understand what you're saying. Okay, this is gonna be the last one because full disclosure, my ass hurts from sitting on this foam roller. I did that for 27 years. My ex-husband came out. Five months later, we got married. A year and 10 months, we got divorced. Through all of this, I realized that I wasted my life waiting for him. He made me this strong woman, but when he came out, he broke me apart. All the wives out here, please be careful. We love with our heart, but they love with their tongue. Lies, lies, lies. I think that is the best advice for me to leave everybody with. She's right. A few of you also asked me for a where are they now video, and it was awesome because in the comments of my first video, a few people, their loved ones, are inside with the husbands of these women. And then one woman is very, very close still with one of the women from the show. So I'm going to tap those women. I'm gonna to try to get some more information. I'm gonna do my own research. Somebody tipped me off on how to find more information on these women. So I didn't have time to do that yet. It's Tuesday afternoon of work week, and I just decided to do my birthday video because I wanted to answer all of your assumptions. While I had lashes on, I mean, can't waste lashes, Tuesday afternoon at, now we're at 6.53. So I decided to make a couple of more videos. So I did this one, stay tuned for that one. If you guys want to know anything else, if you want me to review more shows, I got a lot of requests to do Love After Lockup, which I will, but I only watched the most recent season. The first few seasons I couldn't stand. Couldn't stand to watch more than five minutes. I thought it was just really trashy. But this last season of Life After Lockup, they got different cast members. And I thought it was such a good representation of Life After Prison. And there were a couple of couples that I genuinely really liked. And I thought that they were showing their struggles and how they were getting through their struggles so well. So I'll do a review of that. I also got a request to do The Prison Wives Club, which is scripted but it's a british show and so i will probably watch that i don't know how many seasons there are i don't know how fast i could watch the seasons or get a background on that but then also do a review on that and the difference between the united states one and the british one i could do that or whatever you guys want just let me know in the comments below i think we'll just keep this one nice and short and sweet today but that's what other people thought about the show prison wives club i thought people were gonna be all out knock down, drag out, bad, bad, bad reviews. When it hurts like that.